Well, good morning, First Federal. We are going to go ahead and get started. And I promise that I'll probably get you out of here in 10 minutes or so. I want to welcome you to our first ever virtual staff recognition event. Uh, of course, we are saddened that we are unable to gather as planned at the Brighton Box Tool Shed and enjoy some great food, fellowship, and dancing in person. Alas, however, life has a way of bringing us the most unexpected things, and we certainly must find a way to deal with them appropriately. I want to personally thank you for everything that you have been through this year and how you have dealt with it. The pandemic has added a fear that we have never experienced before. We've had to take measures and rethink how we do business. And of course, there's always a silver lining in these things, and we will be a much better bank for it. Even during this pandemic, we have accomplished some amazing things that have and will propel us to an even stronger position and market share in our communities. We were economic first responders in late March and early April as we aided over 350 businesses obtain nearly $43 million in emergency payroll funding through the PPP program. We have made nearly $90 million in residential mortgage loans and an additional $100 million in commercial business loans that clearly empower the financial well being of our community. We crossed over 500 million in total assets and now service nearly 700 million in total assets and loans serviced. We began construction on a linchpin of our long term growth with the July groundbreaking of our financial education and operations center. You can rest assured that first federal remains as strong as ever. All of these things happened because of the great work of all of you. And this is the time, uh, this is the time of year where we take time to reflect on some of those folks whose efforts have contributed to our great success. We celebrate service anniversaries and we are going to do that now. First, we're going to recognize those with five or more years of service. And I'm going to share my screen here. And hopefully, you should be able to see Darian Dunlap. Darian was hired on May 15th, 2015, as a part time teller at the New Philadelphia office. She then transferred to a full time teller position in November 2015 at the Boulevard office. In 2018, Darian became the teller supervisor at our soon to open new Eurexville office. She also took on the responsibility of assisting with new accounts at Eurexville. In August of this year, she accepted a loan specialist position in the loan department where she continues to work today. So we want to congratulate Darian Dunlap. Nice, we got a clap. Next <laughs> is Lori Russell. Lori was hired in July of 2015 as a credit analyst at the Boulevard office. She then moved into her current role as accounting manager in July 2018 at the Special Operations Building, where she continues to work today. Congratulations to Lori. Sharon Troyer. Sharon works as the branch manager at the Mount Hope office. Sharon became part of the first federal family when we required the office in May of 2017. And just for reference purposes, when we purchased the office, I think we had about seven and a half million dollars in deposits. And I think uh, just a little over three years later, I think we're well over 26 million in deposits in Mount Hope. So great job there. Congratulations, Sharon. Next, we move to 10 or more years of service. And we're going to talk about Eric Steely, who was hired 
July of 2010 as teller supervisor for the Boulevard office. In December of 2010, Eric moved to a credit analyst position in the loan department where he works, continues to work today. He also, in addition to credit analysts, does a lot of our report writing. And uh, those, those are valuable uh, reports that we use every day in our business. Congratulations, Eric. Next, we're gonna go to 20 or more years of service. Scott Fennel was hired in November of 2000 as Executive Vice President and Chief Lending Officer. He was appointed Corporate Secretary. In addition to those roles, he was appointed Corporate Secretary for FFD Financial Corp in October of 2018. And he continues to work in those positions today. Congratulations to Scott. <laughs> Bobby Joe Gadfield was hired in August of 2000 as a teller at the Dover office. Bobby Joe then worked as a financial service representative at the Boulevard office until moving into her current position in the loan department in 2005. She began loan and account collection responsibilities in 2008. Bobby Joe continues to work in this position today, and we would like to congratulate Bobby Joe also. Please join me in congratulating each of these key contributors to our success. I want to close with just two things. First, I want to thank you for making this a great place to work. It truly is. And it's because of, of each of you. Uh, we were notified that we received our second certification as a great place to work on Friday evening. So congratulations to all of you. That is just awesome. You deserve many, many congratulations for that. Second, on behalf of myself and our board of directors, we want to wish you and your families a blessed and joyous holiday season. Thank you. Have an awesome week. This will conclude the meeting. I did get you out of here before 815. Thank you, everybody. Mm -hmm.